In this video, you will learn solving problems on the ordinary future value of an annuity. You will learn the equation of the future value of an annuity, solving problems using a scientific calculator, solving problems using a financial calculator, as well as solving problems using the future value interest factor of an annuity. You gotta be careful, this video is only about the future value of an ordinary annuity and not the annuity due. And the difference between the two is that the payment of the ordinary annuity takes place at the end of each time period, whereas the annuity due at the beginning of each time period. Also pay attention that this video is not about the, the regular future value, whereas the future value is a lump sum of money. So let's get started with the future value of an annuity, the equation. The equation, as you might have seen this in your book, it has PMT, which is the payment, the equal cash payment at regular intervals across time. I, or sometimes it's R, is the interest rate, and N is the number of time periods. First, we will start solving problems using a scientific calculator. So let's look at exercise one. Exercise one says, Suppose you decided to put away $1,000 at the end of every year for the next five years. If you can earn 6% on the account, what is the value of the account at the end of the five years? If you noticed here, it is putting away $1,000 at the end of every year. So this is what we call a, a payment. So here we are going to try to solve for the future value of an annuity an ordinary annuity because it says at the end of each year. So let's use the future value annuity equation. Plug in the numbers. You might want to solve it all at once or plug in all the numbers at once in your calculator or break it down in two. And then it gives us the answer, which is 5,637.09. Now let's look at exercise two. It says Kitty and Robert put 1,500 into a college fund every year for their son, Evan. On his birthday, with the first deposit one year from his birth at his very first birthday, the college fund has a guaranteed annual growth or interest rate of 7%. At his 18th birthday, the last 1,500 will be paid and so, how much will be in the college fund for Ivan immediately following his last payment? You might want to pause the video and try to solve it using the future value of an annuity equation and then come back to the video to check the answer. So here is how to solve it. Put the future value of an annuity equation. Simply plug in the numbers. They say 1,500 is the amount they are putting away every year. So this is our payment. And then 7% is the growth rate, so I will uh, put it at 0 0.07 for 18 years because starting from his very first birthday until his 18th birthday. Plug it into your calculator and you will get the answer at 50,998.5. The second part of this video is about using the financial calculator. So I will show you how to solve the same problems, but this time using the financial calculator. But before we get started, let me show you a picture of my financial calculator and the keys that I'll be using. So first we have the CMPD key. This is the compound button. Once you press it, you will get a list and I will explain the list later. The second button is the EXE button. This is the execute button. You press it to move between items on the list. And finally, the solve button. You press it once you move next to the missing component, but only after entering all the given numbers. And this way it will give you the answer. So let's try to solve exercise one, the one we have already solved earlier. Looking at the given values, we are trying to solve for the future value of an annuity. We have N, the number of time periods at five years, interest rate is 6%, and payment 1000. Now press compound in your calculator and go through the list and delete any values you have already entered earlier or from previous um, problems. 
And now you can get started where you have set. Make sure it is on end and then move to N. You will enter five and then execute to the next. Then you will find I, the interest rate. So enter it as six and not 6% or 0 0.06 because the calculator is already programmed that this is an interest rate. So enter it as six and then execute. Then you will find PV. Skip it for now because it is not part of this problem. Then you will find payment. We have a payment of 1000, but in your calculator, you will enter it as a minus 1000. So enter minus 1000 and then execute. Then you will reach the FV or the future value. Enter solve. The calculator will give you the answer 5637.09 which is exactly the same answer we got earlier using the scientific calculator. Here is exercise two again. We have the given values. We are trying to solve for the future value of an annuity. Number of time periods is 18. Interest rate is 7% and the payment is 1,500. You might wanna try to do it on your own this time and then come back and check your answer. So to get started, press compound Make sure you deleted all the values you have from earlier and then move to set. Make sure it is on end where you will find N, enter 18 because we have 18 years and then execute. Then you will find I, enter 7 and press execute. Then you will find PV, skip it because it's not part of this problem either. And then you will find PMT or the payment enter it as minus 1,500 and then execute. Then you, you will reach the future value, enter solve, and you will be given the answer, which is 50,998.55. Again, the same as the answer we got earlier using the scientific calculator. The third and final part of this video is on using the future value interest factor of an annuity, the table. So let me start by showing you a picture of this table, but be careful that this picture that we have here is not the full table as the table is much larger than this, but only a sample of it. Horizontally, we have the interest, fa uh, the interest rates and vertically, we have the number of time periods. Now I will show you how to use it step by step. So let's use exercise one as a sample. We have the given values, and then what I will need is the number of time periods, which is five, and I, the interest rate, which is 6%. And I will try to find the correspondent number for these two in the future value interest factor of an annuity table. As you can see, this is the 6%, and this is the five years, and the corresponding number is 5.637. What we should do now is to multiply the payment by the future value interest factor of an annuity, which is the number we have just found in the table. So multiply 1000 by 5.637 and your answer will be 5637. Now moving to exercise number two. Again, we have the given values and then we will focus on the number of time periods and the interest rate, number of time periods is 18, interest rate is 7%, and we will try to find the corresponding number in the um, table. So here is the 7%, and here is the 18, and the corresponding number is 33.999. Now we will multiply the payment by the number we found. So we will multiply 1,500 times 33.999 and our answer will be 50,998.5. So this is it for today. I hope you found the video very useful. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you.